I hear quite often when people say, I spent a lot of money on probiotic supplements. Do they actually work for you? Do you really need to spend that amount of money? Or is it just a waste of money and time? I'll explain to you very shortly. When it comes to gut health, I'm big about it. I read a lot of books. Uh, when it comes to uh, microbiome, how you can change your microbiome. I read a lot about fecal transplant. If you're interested in details, please comment below. I read a few studies that fecal transplant is actually uh, can help someone with uh, low immunity or if you uh, have a morbid obesity or if you just want to lose weight. It practices a lot in the US but not as much in the UK. I used to spend a lot of money on probiotic supplements, prebiotic, probiotics and all sorts of uh, just to improve my gut health. But then I realized that I was wasting my money on some supplements and uh, there are actually simple way how you can uh, improve your uh, microbiome, your metabolism, improve your health and immunity by just eating certain foods that uh, multiply your gut bacteria. Supplements, I mean capsules, pills and uh, you know, tablets, uh, all of these probiotic uh, stuff are waste of money. The best way to get good gut bacteria is by multiplying your existing bacteria by eating food like asparagus, uh, artichoke, uh, sauerkraut. I love fermented food. Fermented food are the best way to get your probiotic multiply faster because um, uh, fermented food is the food for your existing gut bacteria. By taking supplements, uh, these um, probiotics will die in your uh, stomach because of uh, the high acid. I see some people say, I take my probiotic first thing in the morning. That's the wrong way to do it. If you actually want your supplement, probiotic supplements, to survive 1%, have it with uh, yogurt, have it with fermented food, and definitely don't have on an empty stomach. Probiotics are best to take with food and not in the morning. Uh, some probiotics I know cost like 75 pounds, 120 pounds, and I'm thinking, wow, it's a how much sauerkraut you can eat and in fact it will cost you much less. Buying probiotic um, food, uh, sauerkraut or any fermented vegetables or kefir, yogurt, uh, not sweet yogurt, not with uh, fruits with tons of sugar, not that one, just a plain yogurt. It's also the best way to multiply your existing uh, gut bacteria. Also, I highly recommend to add inulin to your diet. Inulin powder, some people use it as a substitute for sugar. To be honest, it's not sweet. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't use it as a substitute for sugar. It's not sweet enough. I use sweetness, but then I guess if you uh, don't have anything sweet by using inulin maybe it would work as a sweetener I don't know so by adding inulin in your diet that is another way to improve your uh, gut microbiome don't waste your money on a probiotic supplements just uh, buy food that help your gut so by eating this food they, your existing gut bacteria will multiply faster and they will survive because they like your environment, they like where they are. Don't think by adding some sort of capsule uh, will help your gut. No, it will help uh, someone's pocket, but not your gut. For you, it will be just a waste of money. Yeah, that's simple. You're probably now thinking, okay, tell me, what food do you eat? so that I can improve my immunity, speed up my metabolism. In my diet, 
it's always fermented vegetables and uh, my clients always buy sauerkraut from me i think i do the best one <laughs> i don't know i think i am doing the best one because most of the sauerkrauts uh, you buy in uh, russian or eastern european stores are too salty they're not good by adding kinetic cultures when you ferment vegetables will speed up the process and also uh, the fermented vegetable become like a concentrate of uh, pre and probiotics so it's the best way uh, to have uh, with kinetic cultures if you want to know uh, how do i ferment my vegetables i will add the link in the description below how i uh, make my sauerkraut i've done the video before so you can have a look i also like asparagus and bok choy or bok choy there is like vegetable look like a cabbage so i like this sort of vegetables and any cruciferous vegetables are best prebiotic fiber I also buy Bione apple puree because apple puree it's another way of getting the prebiotic fiber so your gut love the apple puree or pear puree uh, some people say no it's for kids or babies no it's not apple puree so the best way to get your prebiotic fiber and you can have uh, apple puree as a dessert some of my clients when i suggest them to have apple puree uh, sometimes i would hear people say oh that's for babies and I say no it's not let's say three tablespoons of apple puree with jelly uh, the sugar free it's the best it's the best dessert it's light it's low calorie and it will benefit your gut so that's why i like apple puree or pear puree uh, make apple juice buy two three kilos of apple stew pan i don't know what it called just put all the apples and boil sometimes i make apple puree myself it doesn't last long as a beyond a apple puree i will add the link in the description below uh, but two three days is fine so i usually boil four five or ten apples and just then just blend them all and it's a puree i don't add sugar i don't add anything it's also uh, brilliant for your gut and kids love it i love it and uh, the juice from the apple uh, we drink it and it's perfect to drink chill try it you might like it too i hope you like this video don't waste your money on the probiotic supplements eat food only this way you can change your probiotic prebiotic you can change your gut flora your gut microbiome uh, by eating food not by supplementing with the capsules tablets uh, it's just a waste of money if you have any questions or any ideas for future videos please comment below i always read your comments and i always reply thank you for watching my videos look after yourself look after your health your health is your wealth and i will see you very very soon bye